What's good with y'all? It's your boy Young Fine 99 xx and I got a sewing video for y'all today. Yes, sir. So I got a sweater, boxy fit. I'm gonna scrunch the sleeves on some insane shit. Is it gonna work? I don't know. But I got my Gatorade. I got my Cheez Its. I got all the patterns cut out. So let's get into it and let's find out. All right. So right here, I'm just sewing the shoulders together. One shoulder, two shoulder, basic stuff. And now I'm sewing the sleeves on. I have uh, other videos further explaining this if y'all need to get the concept down. Now I'm just sewing the hem in for the neck. So this is where the funny stuff is about to go down. I'm gonna sew up most of the way, all the way up until my sleeve. Right there, I'm gonna stop, change my stitching distance to like three or four. Sew two of those lines and then pull the bottom threads to scrunch them. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so this is just me just sewing up the sides. Stop at the sleeve, you can back tack. Other side. Take a second to show y'all where I'm stopping at. Right here under the arm on both sides. And now turn my stitching up to like three or four. And then I'm gonna sew up the arm and then do a parallel one. All right, so back tack at the beginning. Three works best, I figured out. And don't back tack out. Leave a good bit of thread tails, actually. It's the moment of truth. Let's find out if it works. We're gonna find our bottom threads, separate them from our top, like that. And then we're gonna pull our bottom threads. I believe it's the bottom ones. Oh yeah. It's scrunching. I just gotta get a good one going. That's crazy. I just heard it scrunch. So you basically just want to scrunch it to your liking. I'm gonna just go crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go for some insane shit. And now you just want to tie it off. And I'm gonna actually, um, let me see how it fit first. All right, so as you can see, the specs came in. I test fitted it, the test fit went nice. So I'm gonna just finish up this side, tweak it a little, finish up the other side, and show you guys what it looks like. So the test fit went nice, but I guess that shit was a fluke. Cause that shit did not go nice from there on out. Shit's kept popping on me so many times. It's actually about three or four more off-camera sews where I try to get it. All right, for some reason, I can't get the gathers to stay. So I'm gonna do some crazy shit right now. I'm gonna turn my stitching back up to two and I'm gonna just hand scrunch it. Hand scrunch it all the way down. And we'll see where it gets me. By hand scrunching it, I basically mean just taking the gathers before it gets under the foot and pinching them and pushing them under the foot and manually putting the gathers in. I'm low key glad I did that because it was sturdier. It came through. It looks exactly like it did the other way. So overall, I'm happy with it. Make sure y'all go ahead and follow me on Instagram at nta.nwo, that's the fashion page. I post content like this all the time. to will keep you updated and there'll be more behind the scenes and whatnot. But let me know what y'all wanna see, man. I'm always down to take recommendations. Shit was low-key lit as fuck. Thank y'all for coming to watch my first video in my new setup. And hopefully we'll have a lot more consistency going on and a lot of crazier ideas now that I got my own space. Y'all come back, stay tuned. Next video, I got a crazy hoodie for y'all. Can't even really call it a hoodie. I don't know what you'll call it, but you'll see.